Well, hello everybody. Happy Thursday night and rainy night and dreary night, but that's okay because we've got a good book and we got a book that should make you laugh. It's called Flight School. It's by Lita Judge. As you can tell, uh, there's probably going to be some shenanigans, chicanery, all sorts of hijinks, you know, all that good stuff. So, hope you had a great day. Sit back, relax, and enjoy Flight School right here on Mr. Eric Reads. I was hatched to fly, said Penguin. When do classes start? Uh, but you dear, are a penguin, teacher replied. Undeniable, said Penguin, but I have the soul of an eagle. Teacher and Flamingo weren't so sure, but they let Penguin stay. Flight practice started immediately. Like this, flop, 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 and up, up, up. Penguin and the other birds practiced for weeks. At last, all the birdies were cleared for their first flight. One by one, they took to the wind. And then it was Penguin's turn. Geronimo! Splash! Blub, 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 blub. I'm sorry, Birdie, said Teacher, but penguins just aren't built to fly. How can this be, thought Penguin. In my heart, I live on the wind. But as he watched his classmates fly high above, he knew it was time to go home. <sighs> Penguin was too brokenhearted to even wave goodbye. His teachers didn't know what to do. Then Flamingo had an idea. Wait! Let's try again now! Flap, flip, flip, flap, flip, flap, flip, flap, 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 flap. And up, and up, and up! Suddenly, Penguin was soaring above the sea and the clouds. Penguin was right. He did have the soul of an eagle. He uh, just needed a little help with the technical parts. But however he felt inside, he still had the body of a little round Penguin. But Penguin didn't care because he had soared on the wind just as he had done in his dreams. And he left flight school that day a happy little penguin.
and it wasn't long before he came back. My friend Ostrich has the soul of a swallow. Hey, hey, hey. Hello. The end. That was Flight School by Lena Judge right here on Mr. Eric Reads. Guys, I hope you have enjoyed this story and that you had a great day. Please continue to be safe and healthy washing those hands and practicing kindness in everything that you do. Don't let the dreary day outside affect your mood or the way you treat other people. So without further ado, go rest up, go get ready for to close out this week and into a three day weekend where I'll still be here reading books. So don't, don't, don't get that twisted, but I'll see you guys next time right here on Mr. Eric Reads. <laughs>